Hello everyone, today I have brought an automated point of sale management system which you can use to utilize at your restaurant, your store or your retail outlet or at your wholesale business. So wherever you would like to utilize, you can utilize at your business. Means You can define the complete menu. For example, let's, cre uh, let's create a new order. Just clear out the first one and then select your desired menu among uh, let's say you select vegetarian you want main course and let's say you choose this product so you can see this one has been added into your receipt for example now you want to add from the seafood the fish and you just added this item you want to if you want to add more just simply click on the main item then the sub item and the main product right so basically it's a three stage product selection it means first you will select the main category then you will select the subcategory and eventually you will select the final product right so for example you have just added your product and you can simply click print and save to print out this receipt and save the information into your database right so you, whenever you will click either this button or this button this will print as well and this will just save the data so you can see the invoice number has been generated the date has been punched and it's an open invoice because you have not collected uh, any payment yet or you have not updated the status yet so let's say you want to mark it as paid and you want to collect the cash so when you click the cash it will ask you okay how much you have collected so you can see the total amount at 65.47 and you just collected for example 70 so it says okay you collected 70 you need to pay back 4.53 and you can save this information again right so you remember this receipt name 1012 you can call it anytime you want so let's say if you clear out for the next order you can simply create a new order but if you want to call the previous invoice just click on call invoice and enter the invoice number 1012 and press ok and it will fetch the information accordingly and you can still add the items you can increase the item and the decrease the quantity from here if you want to remove the item you can use this x sign moreover if you know the item code you can directly enter uh, here or you can scan it if you have a scan machine so for example if i clear out here and let's say i want to add an item but i know the item code so i can simply type it and when you enter it you can see the item is added accordingly but if you have a scanner you can just click on this scan so wherever your cursor will be the scan will bring your cursor here and when you will do the scanning machine uh, with your product code and this will automatically be entered and become the part of your receipt uh, and you can also define these menu according to your desire so before i tell you how to define these menu according to your desire first let me tell you about these general rate so you can see the tax rate is 17 percent standard and let's say you are giving six percent discount standard you can make it zero it's solely up to you you can adjust your tax rate according to you means it's solely up to you so for example uh if you clear out the invoice and let's say you added a soup and spicy and you just add this soup so you can see the 18 percent tax is applied but discount is applied zero right so no discount but the tax is one one point seven one which is the 18 percent of your amount right so that's how you can manage your tax and discount there is another way of uh, utilizing the tax and discount if if some product require different tax rate and different discounting scheme you can also do that uh, let me tell you how for that purpose uh, you need to go on the product sheet this is a sheet where you can define your whole menu so for example if i go on the product sheet right so you can see i have defined my products here right so this is where i will enter my main category system will automatically detect if you enter any new category so you are free to enter anything if you want right and this is your subcategory and this is your product and here you can enter your item code uh, this is a free field uh, i just entered from 
this number onward but if you want to add any custom number you can do as well so for example i am adding a product let's say 101 and i call it let's say uh beverages okay in the beverages i am adding a same category right beverages and i am choosing from the cold so you can see i have already created a cold but with the soft drink but let's say i call it mango juice and it asking me whether this product applies the tax or not so if you want to apply tax and the discount you must always select it as yes okay if you do not enter any custom tax or discount it will take the standard uh, tax and discount rate which is defined here but if you have defined okay this item require to be taxed differently let's say this item required to tax 10 percent and we are giving let's say two percent discount uh, on this particular item and the amount before gst will be 15 right so you just define it so you just go on control because you have entered a new item just click on the refresh items so now all the items are refresh so if you go on beverages you click on cold you will be seeing the mango juice here so when you add a mango juice you can see this is not taxed at 18 percent it is taxed at 10 percent and two percent discount is applied so this product has been created accordingly if you want to increase the quantity you can increase the quantity from here manually as per your desire if you want or you can just click multiple time to increase the quantity right so let me show you again uh, if i remove this whole category the beverages right and if i go here and if i refresh it so you can see the beverages is not appearing right let me clear out invoice and show you by adding the beverages again or you can add any category that you want for example uh, i am creating a new category and i'm calling it juices right and the subcategory i'm calling it cold juices or i can say natural juices okay and you can call it mango okay uh, orange banana okay you added just three category here so they are all natural juices they are all many categories juices and you can give a custom number it's only up to you make sure they are unique they are not multiple uh, and here yes the taxes applies and the before gst price is let's say uh, 16 16 16 and they are all uh, tax at let's say 15 percent right and we are not uh, giving any discount okay if you want to do not give any discount and you do not want either do not want to apply a standard discount as well then select here as a no but if you want to give a standard discount then press then select here yes but it will be picked from here if you do not define it here but if you define it here for example you define two percent here so then two percent discount will apply instead of this zero percent right so let me just you can see there is no juices category here so when i refresh it you can see juices appear so you just click on juice natural juices we have all three options you click banana so now banana is here 15 percent tax at the rate of two percent right <coughs> and you can save it according to your desired right so if you go on the order summary you can see a new your order information has been entered here okay so this is the place where all your data is being gathered similarly in the order detail uh, it is also taking the information of all the individual item detail pertaining to specific order right and this is the payment by uh, report by payment type so you can see this is showing all the information accordingly the blank one is because you have not defined any uh, status yet right so if you want to apply for example you want to apply as a card you just click on the card so it's card here and you can save and press yes moreover you can call the previous invoice as well let's say i want to call my previous invoice 1012 so now you can see your previous invoices here you want to call further previous invoice you can call the invoices here like that right so it's solely up to you uh, how you would like to utilize it so you can call invoice as per your desired time okay 1013 
you can see this invoice is here this invoice is open you mark it as paid this will mention as paid right and if you want to collect a custom amount you can simply click collect and it will enter the amount in the collect section right moreover uh, this is the top heading and this is your footer you can also edit it from each invoice by simply going in the setting and edit here as soon as you edit here it will become part of it whenever you create a new invoice just click on the clear and this will automatically be updated and moreover if you want to change this logo just right click on here and click on change the picture okay and from this device you can you can add your own logo right so for example if i go here and change the company is waste company okay so if you go back on control and just click on the clear so you can see this has become OS company right so let me make it excel doers you can do it as per your desire just click on the clear and it's back to excel doers that's how you can utilize this whole system right and if you have a touch screen system available you can use to touch these button directly and it will be very easy to manage on the touch screen if you are using so download your copy now uh, let me know in comments how you like this product and if you have any feedback do let me know thank you so much and if you have not subscribed to this channel yet do subscribe now thank you